in Powys we have a, an, a, a setup called LRSP which is aimed at sort of the lower tier so when they're not involved with social services there's a, 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 all the kind of um, areas, all the, so health, education, um, all sit around the table together and um, you can take a, a case forward to it and we find that a lot of young carers hit that particular group so they're a group with additional needs but they're not at a level where social services particularly needs to get involved and um, yeah so we've played a, quite a big part in that and um, I think it's really you know enhanced our uh, <coughs> status and also the awareness of young carers because they've been quite surprised how, how many young people there are who have caring responsibilities who need just that little bit of extra support really. Part of the role of meeting here at the youth centre and having a youth worker involved with the club is, is hopefully to kind of um, link them in with other youth service provisions that are going on and there's a couple of lads here that um, didn't go to anything before they came here and they're now attending other youth service clubs that happen here in the centre and they have more confidence to kind of join other youth club activities and things which is great because we can obviously only offer so much. Um, I particularly work with two high schools and we now have carers champions in each of our schools so I have one point of contact in the school to go to which is really helpful because you don't always know who, who the link is in that school uh, and they have a much greater awareness of young carers just because I'm constantly going in and, and meeting young people there and they I think they, they value my input there and they can they sort of um, learn just through the fact that I'm regularly going in and sort of meeting particular young people and there's an awareness of who the young carers are in that school and it makes the, the school feel like they're contributing more to supporting them as well and just having a great, better awareness all around. Well, at this group that we run, I've got young people from 8 all the way up to 20, and definitely the sort of 14 and over. I, occasionally we try to do different activities for them, so we've got a different Christmas party for them. Occasionally run nights specifically for them as well. But they really enjoy being part of the, the whole group and, and being the mentors for the younger ones and taking on a little bit more responsibility within the group. And, um, and I think they enjoy their status, really, uh, of mixing with all the others. So um, it's not always the right environment here to talk about the kind of things that they want to talk about. So I quite often have to meet up with them outside of this group um, or signpost them to organisations that are more specifically um, able to help them with you know, careers or, or whatever. I think we're such a constant factor in their life so we've, we've known them all the way through and in a lot of cases, you know, we don't sort of work just for six weeks. So there's just this inbuilt trust. Um, and so we're a good point to sort of, as I said before, just to sort of signpost out really. Um, so not take it all on ourselves and think that we're the experts at everything because clearly we're not, you know, and there are many other organisations that are better equipped to help them with grants or help them with applying to university or, or this sort of thing. But, we're quite a good central pin to sort of point them in the right direction or, or meet, show them the right people.